Hey, welcome back. So let's finish uh, styling this and then we can move on to saving. So I want to move this in the center or just shift it a little bit to the other side. So let's look at the styles that are involved here. Clearly, I'm not an expert in uh, bootstrap, so I'll have to try and make do with what I know. So I see here there's, uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, this is a column and this is the size, something like small. And then I'm not sure what the number is, but let's see here for a second. Form two, this looks like it's part of the first form. Okay, so there's another one saying small four. So there's four there and there's five. Okay, let's see how that corresponds here. So maybe those are widths. So what I will do is I will, let me move that to eight. Let's see what happens. Oh, look how easy that was. Great, it's looking much better now. Okay, so now what I want to do is get rid of uh, the unnecessary. So you can leave all these if you want the user to, but I don't want the user to be overwhelmed with the information to add here, yeah? Because if they are logged in, obviously, we don't need to ask them for their first name, last name. All these names are irrelevant. What's important is the address, the zip code, the country. There's no need for a password. We do need a phone number just in case. We don't need the fax. Nobody uses that anymore. But if you want to, you can leave it there. So here we go. So there's a form here, right here. So I can remove company name, email, and title, first name, middle name, last name, all that gone. So let's look at that now. Okay, so build two, address one, address two. That looks much cleaner. Then here, what do we do now? Uh, we need the zip code, the country, the phone. So there we go. So there's a list of countries here. Nice, a list of countries there as well. No need for us to confirm the password. We do need the phone, so let's leave that. If you want, you can leave the fax, but no. Nah. And what's the other one? Zip code, that's uh, good. So let's uh, re-see. Okay, so it's looking good. Now this one, I want to um, country, state, and city. Okay, that's all good. I want uh, this one to be auto, auto focus, so that we immediately we land on this page, we're already in that box. Then here, notes about your order, anything they want to write, shipping to bill address. Yes, ship to bill address. We may want to keep that checked, but I think there's no need for us to um, to ask this question anyway. But just in case, what I want to do is put the word, uh, wait a minute, where is this closing at? This is weird. Oh, it's right here. So let me put checked there. That way the moment we load is, yes, we are shipping to the bill address. Because otherwise, what's the other option? So maybe uh, we might just want to remove that. Let's see here. Oh, I removed too much. There's a text area, there's a label. So it's the label I need to remove. We don't actually need that. Okay, all right. So here everything seems, uh, seems cool. So I could just move everything into here because uh, we don't have much data left there. So let's um, form one and then there's form two. So if I were to remove both of these, then it's completely one form. In fact, all this here, then it becomes one form. Let's see that. Okay. Uh, somehow these have gone rogue so maybe there were some styles associated with that eh, not sure 
So another option we can do is just to distribute them evenly. So I will put the zip code, this one, just move it here. Maybe that would be better instead of spending too much time on the CSS. That's not what I want to do. I want to spend more time on the PHP as quickly as possible. All right, maybe I can reduce the height of this one. Uh, where is that? Order message, yes. So let's see what uh, style here, height. In fact, let's just say max height, maybe. Uh, 200 pixels, let's check that out. But why has my button uh, disappeared? Boy, the styles in here are crazy. I I do need to learn some bootstrap. That will make things much, much easier, won't it? Okay, so let's try and use this one instead. At the top there. Mm -hmm. Still killing my button there. Ah, okay, I'll figure it out once I switch the cameras off okay so so far uh, so good we have uh, the information that we actually need but here we have country and we have state so we have to be able to put this in a database because we don't want to be um, to be adding that information here because when a country is selected we need to know what states are in there because like this these are independent so one we select a country but then it won't affect this one so we need to use some ajax to affect one for the other so let's make some tables real quick to represent country and a state yeah so let's go to our database eShop. click there create new table shall we and we're going to call it countries of course oh what am I doing? That's a search. I have to click on new. Actually, it was right there. So countries, yes. So all we need is an ID and a country. That's it. So country, ID. So the ID, we won't have so many countries, so we don't need to use big int. Int is fine. Country, variable character. I don't know how long some country names are, but I think 30 is reasonable. And we don't need anything else. But sometimes we may want to disable a country uh, for one reason or another. So instead of deleting it, you can just uh, disable it. Okay, so here I want to give a uh, tiny int, is it? Yes. And the default value should be zero because it's not disabled and that's it uh let's add auto increment here and primary index on the id then uh, i think that does it so where is the save button there we go save and then we add one more again but wait wait country D, right? Ooh. No, I don't think we need. We may need an index for disabled, but uh, that's about it. So new table again. States. Hmm. ID. Now this one will need a parent because they don't exist on their own. They need a country. So parent will contain the ID for the actual country and then the state name there and also we, you may want to disable one of these so why not so tiny int where we got let's add a default value that way it adds that automatically variable character let's put 30 characters i think that ought to be enough the parent is an int because we are getting the id from the country so we'll leave these at int which is fine let's make sure that uh, id is auto increment and it's also primary key and then let's hit save 
All right, so we have uh, now you could, maybe you don't have states, you have provinces, uh, you can add that there. Now, if you have states and then you have provinces, uh, you can also add that. So you just put another table for provinces. Uh, now, if you have a long chain, like you, you have you have a country, you have state, you have provinces, you have wards or whatever it is, one after the other, you could make just one table and then you put a parent column like we've done here. And then you put a type column as well, where you are going to, let's say, for example, you put country there. You must put a type that it's a country. If it's a state, you put type as state. And then when reading from the database, you just check, uh, select all where type is equal to country, then it knows their countries. Or select all where type is equal to state, then their states. And then we'll have a parent, which will tell us which one is parented to which one. But that's overkill for our project because we only need two tables, one for states and one for countries. So no biggie, nothing, uh, no reason to make it that complex. But here, let's put uh, parent as an index and disabled an index. Very nice. Okay. So for now, we don't want to uh, complicate our thing by creating. We're going to create that in the admin section where we add states and countries, right? But uh, for now, just for testing purposes, we're going to insert a few. So I'll click insert. So I don't need to add the ID because it will automatically add for me. So I'm just going to add my country there. And then I will add another country. What's my neighboring country? Not even sure. Well, uh, let's try South Africa. Okay, so there we go. Uh, country. That's about it, actually. Two countries there. Pretty good. And let's hit go. Okay, so that's the query there that was run, and it ran successfully. We have two countries there. Pretty good. Now let's go to some states. Now I have to take note here of which country has which ID. Then I go to states. And let's go to uh, insert. So in my country, I have uh, these are provinces though, southern uh, and then uh, northern, something like that. We are very uh, original here, very uh, original names, huh? Southern, Northern. So the parent is one because that's the ID for the country. So I will hit go. Go back to browse. There we go. So let's add some states for South Africa. I actually have no idea what states are in South Africa. I just know the cities there. So just imagine state is city in our situation. So. Uh, Let's insert again. Johannesburg. Too complex. Let's try Sun City. Oh, I know one province. Gauteng province. Yes. That's where Johannesburg is. Wow, I can't spell Johannesburg. So I'll just write Berg for now. Too much work. So two lazy human like me doesn't need all that pain so go okay so back to browse and there we go so we have a state here with the par correct parent here with the ids of their own mm -hmm. very good okay so let's see how we're going to use these in the next video to update our section here yeah all right